of Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. We're going to do something very exciting today. It's a pizza in the Dutch oven. Everybody loves pizza. I've gone ahead and made out my homemade pie, excuse me, pizza dough, and it has a secret in it. I'll give you a special tip at the end of the video. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this in a 14-inch Dutch oven today. So I'm going to roll this out to about 14 inches. And you can make this as thick as you want. This is going to be a little bit thicker, as you can see. There you go. That came out perfect. All right, we're going to go on to the next step, and we'll show you what we'll do next. All right, what I did last night is I marinated our London broil. First, I put on our coffee rub that we love, and then we have a balsamic smoked vinegar that I put on there and that sat overnight and then we we smoked this this morning on our trigger in mesquite wood smoke it that was about medium rare slice it very thinly so I've got that going our caramelized onions of course we have fresh peppers that, that I sliced up we've got mushrooms shredded cheese fresh basil from our garden olives and fresh mozzarella cheese and I did not make my own pizza sauce today. I'm going to cheat a little bit so you can do that and it's just totally fine. So we're gonna put a little bit of that on here. Spread this around evenly. Boy, is this gonna be wonderful. That London broil's got a really nice smoky flavor to it. But also works great if you wanted to use flank steak or flat iron steak. The big trick is to slice it very thin. So we're just going to pile this on here. Or this is going to be one fat pizza, I'll tell you. You don't have to use all of this. We'll use it for something else later in the week. You know, I think I'm going to do this pile it on. And then, then in my caramelized onions, I took some fresh garlic too and sauteed this all together. Am I making you hungry? This is going to be wonderful. You can put as many of these on as you like. That is probably enough. Of course, we got some of these wonderful little peppers going on. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a 14-inch Dutch oven that we've got ready here. And, you know, when you normally bake a pizza, you do it at 400, 425 in the oven for about 18, 20 minutes. What we're going to do is probably bake this. We want to get it to around 400 degrees, probably for 45 minutes. But, of course, we will be checking it as we go along. Well, that's probably enough peppers there. Okay, got to put a few olives. If I forget the olives, I'm definitely in trouble. Boy, doesn't this look wonderful? Okay. We're going to put our cheese here. I like to put the basil on top. It just gives it a lot of color. Of course, this is fresh mozzarella. Which is absolutely wonderful. You know, my husband loves pizza. He could pretty much eat it two or three times a week. Of course, I'm not gonna let him do that because if he did, he'd be as big as my Volkswagen. But you know, you can make your pizzas healthy. You can go all vegetarian. There's no rules with pizza. Okay, now we're gonna put some of this wonderful fresh basil. Now to get to our temperature with our briquettes, we're gonna do 12 on the bottom and 16 on top. So we'll see you outside here in a few minutes and we'll show you how we're gonna do it. 
What we're gonna do is lift this up and put it in our Dutch oven, and then when the pizza is done, we will lift it out. It just works really great to do it this way. Of course, you do heavy duty aluminum foil. All right, we'll see you outside in a bit. Boy, look at this beautiful pizza. Didn't this turn out awesome? And it did take about 45 minutes, but we had a really good hot fire going, coals going for cats. And just remember, it was, this is something that you, I didn't mention earlier. When you do put it on your foil, you've got to put oil on the bottom so your, pie crust, or so your pizza dough does not stick. So we're going to have a little added bonus today going along with our pizza. I had some leftover pizza dough left, and so we have an antique cast iron grill that we use out camping. And I made some breadsticks. I'm going to let them rise and bake them in the oven about 425 for about 15 minutes. And boy, will that go yummy with salad during the end of the week. While our pizza got done, just remember you can pretty much cook anything in a Dutch oven. We love pizza and nothing goes better with pizza. It's better than beer. And of course we have our little bonus here. We got to have some breadsticks with the leftover pizza dough. And remember I told you to stay with us till the very end. My special tip for my dough is a half a teaspoon of basil and a half a teaspoon of oregano. It really adds some extra flavor. Here's to all of our viewers and friends and family. Good friends, good food. And thank you for viewing us. Just remember, subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Thank you.